Hello everyone and welcome back to my third video. For those of you who have not seen my first two, my name is Trish and I do paint by numbers. For the first video I just rambled, for the second video I told <laughs> scary stories off a site called Scoop Whoop. For this one I'm going to continue on with telling some stories while I do my paint by numbers. This is the picture I am currently doing, this little cute husky pup. Um, so let's get started. For those of you who watched my last video, you'll know that I had finished my quarter, which is how I do my paintings in quarters. That's the first quarter. As you can see, I am now moving on to the second quarter. And we're just doing the number one because it's snow and it uh, takes a while. There's quite a few there to do. So just, you know, clean brush, dip it in the paint, blah, blah. Everyone knows how to paint, right? It's not like I have to tell you that, you know. I'm just doing paint by numbers. Oh. Excuse the noises I make. Uh -huh. All right, let's start. We're just going to do a couple of ones because I'll show you after this one. Um, I'll show you a little. All this here. Oh, wow. More than I thought. Let's take it back a bit further. Starts from here. Goes all the way around over here. That's all the one. Big chunk up here is a one. Well, that's taking a little bit to a uh, focus, isn't it? Um, but right now we'll just go back to here. Um, and I have said it before, and I will say it again. I don't really have a technique. It depends on where I'm doing, what colour I'm doing. Because as anyone knows that does these kind of things. Um, white's a little bit hard to go over black. And for anyone who actually wants to do this paint by number in particular, I was given it as a present. Um, but I believe it was... Whoa, from Kmart. That was not on the pa where I was painting at all, was it? That's a little bit embarrassing. Um, I think we'll, well take it back out. Take it back out, Trish. Then we can actually see what I'm doing, huh? Um, as I was saying, yes, uh, it was given to me as a present, but I believe it was from Kmart. I am in Australia, Victoria, Australia at that. So it might be different from place to place and I country to country and whatnot. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm not sure what to say. But just doing straight up paint by numbers and watching me do this might be boring I'm not sure then again some people like it some people won't won't be everyone's cup of tea um, uh, as I've said in previous videos um, I think it's just the first one really um, you won't see me do all the numbers in the quarters um, because it just will take too long. Um, and that's just too many videos for you to watch, I suppose. Hey, if you want to see me do every number, let me know. But, you know. Um, because there is so many <clears throat> numbers and so many small ones as well. You'll find that I will back have to backtrack every now and then to fix a number. 
redo a number, do a miss number, uh, that sort of thing. Um, there is every now and then a miss number due to how small some of them can be. Although I think I've missed ones before that were bigger. Um, it happens to the best of us, I'm sure. Um, all right, I'm going to get started with the stories in a minute. Um, if you have any recommendations for us, just short stories, not like book length stories or anything like that. But if you have recommendation for stories... Let me know when I might just go hunt them up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, if I haven't got any comments on the last one, I actually asked if anyone knows how to use Reddit to let me know because I went hunting for horror stories in there and all I got was news feeds and... I'm not sure how to use it. I went. I could not find it. I know people do it because there is channels on YouTube <coughs> dedicated to Reddit stories, to Karen stories from Reddit. Um, I think there's a guy called Mr. Reddit. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to help me in that department I love it um, as you can see I trying to get rid of that black line in between the two colorings so I dab here um, with a little bit of extra paint on the brush um, to make it a little bit thicker to try and get that line to disappear. Same as like the number one, see? Um, I'm an idiot, I really am. Uh, just let me do the outline of this and then I'll try and get onto that story. Um, I believe the next story is My Daughter Learnt to Count by Real Science 87. Nice name, Real Science. Um, bit easy. Wow, that's been a bit, 10 more minutes. All right. I'm sure anyone who has kids can feel the pain of getting woken up at all hours of the night, but not why this parent was woken up. Um, yeah, all right. My daughter woke me around 11.50 last night. My wife and I had picked her up from her friend Sally's birthday party, brought her home and put her into bed. My wife went into the bedroom to read while I fell asleep watching the Braves game. Daddy, she whispered, tugging my shirt sleeve, guess how old I'm going to be next month. I don't know, beautiful, I said as I slipped on my glasses. How old? She smiles and holds up four fingers. It's 7.30 now. My wife and I have been up with her for almost eight hours. She still refuses to tell us where she got them. Did it click that part of the story? It took me a couple of seconds to uh, figure out why that was a scary story. You know, kid learning to count, holds up four fingers. I'm going to be four years old. Yeah, that's because they weren't her fingers she was holding up. They've been up for hours. Eight hours, they say. 
trying to figure out where she got the fingers from. Yeah, like I said, it took me a minute or two to uh, click onto that. And when I did, I can tell you now, that was a bit of a mm-hmm. Like I said, some people were in the mindset of Stephen King. Um, all right, next story is called Timekeeper by Gridster 2. Oh, yes. It's a little bit of a sneaky one, this one. He'd been given a watch on his 10th birthday. It was an original grey plastic wristwatch in every respect except for the fact that it was counting down. This is all the time you have left in the world, son. Use it wisely. And indeed he did. As the watch ticked away, the boy, now a man, lived life to the fullest. He climbed mountains and swam oceans. He talked and laughed and lived and loved. The man was never afraid, for he knew exactly how much time he had left. Eventually, the watch began its final countdown. The old man stood looking over everything he'd done, everything he'd built. He shook hands with his old... Five... He shook hands with his old business partner, partner, the man who had long been his friend and confidant. Four, his dog came and licked his hand, earning a pat on the head for its companionship. Three, he hugged his son, knowing that he'd been a good father. Two, he kissed his wife on the forehead one last time. One, the old man smiled and closed his eyes. Then, nothing happened. The watch beat once and turned off. The man stood standing there, very much alive. You would think that in that moment he would have been overjoyed. Instead, for the first time in his life, the man was scared. Gee, I think I would have been scared having the watch. All right, I've changed to a thicker paintbrush here for the bigger area. Use a small paintbrush for... Getting into those little crevices, crevices, whichever way you want to say it. Um, and the big one for the, yeah, you get the picture. All right. Well, all right, we've got another one. No, oh, my finger in the picture again. That is the second time you've done that, Trish. Don't do that. All right, where else? We're moving over here. I think this is another paw, by the looks of it. As you notice, we don't have to go so heavy on the outlining. Um, there's no other colours as yet, so when it comes to doing that other colour. Seven, 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 what's seven? I'm not sure, where's the paint for it? Oh, there it is. Um, as you'll know, it's, see it's on there. It looks like a greeny or grey or something. Grey, I'd say, being there, it's a rock. Um, but yeah, we don't have to be as heavy on the outline. Um, because we can actually cover them better with the darker colours. You know, sometimes, depending on the sizing of the area I'm doing, I'll actually pat the brush instead of stroking the brush. Um, and I'll do little itty-bitty strokes like that. Uh, just, like I said, depends on the area. Depends on how long I've been using the brush for, because I do actually use the lose the pointiness of the brush. Um, going down the edgings. I'll turn the brush sideways when I lost the pointiness because it flattens the brush out. Um, as you can probably, I don't know if you can tell that actually. 
Um, but yeah, we'll just finish this off and then I'll do another story maybe. We've got big spots for the ones to come up still. Um, I think next time I do this, I better have my drink ready. At the moment we're in 30 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. And I don't have an air conditioner, just a fan that I have on. So I'm a little bit warm today. Well, and that was definitely a shadow going on there, wasn't it? Alright, like I said, I'll use the bigger brushes for the bigger areas. And sometimes... Even for those areas that the brush I'm using was kind of a short, easy, flexible kind of, well, not flexible, easy to manoeuvre more, really. Um, it was just the paint brushes that come with the kit, though, so I didn't actually choose. I think we might go down here to the smaller one. All right. I don't think I pre-read this one. There's no reason to be afraid by whoever fights monsters. Oh, I like your name. When my sister Betsy and I were kids, our family lived for a while in a charming old farmhouse. We lived explore. Oh, sorry. All right. I'm going to start this again because I just stuffed that up. When my sister Betsy and I were kids, our family lived for a while in a charming old farmhouse. We loved exploring its dusty corners and climbing the apple tree in the backyard. But our favourite thing was the ghost. We called her mother because she seemed so kind and nurturing. Some mornings, Betsy and I would wake up and each of our nightstands would find a cup that hadn't been there the night before. Mother had left them there, worried that we'd get thirsty during the night. She just wanted to take care of us. Amongst the house's original furniture was an old antique wooden chair, which we kept against the back wall of the living room. Whenever we were preoccupied watching TV or playing a game, Mother would inch the chair forward across the room towards us. Now, I'm doing a paint by number, but I'm hardly painting, am I? Sometimes she'd manage to move it all the way to the centre of the room. We always felt sad putting it back against the wall. Mother just wanted to be near us. Years later, long after we'd moved out, I found an old newspaper article about the farmhouse's original occupants, a widow. She'd murdered her two children by giving them each a cup of poisoned milk before bed. Then she hung herself. The article included a photo of the farmhouse's living room with a woman's body hanging from a beam. Beneath her, knocked over, was that old wooden rocking chair placed exactly in the centre of the room. Oh, wow. Well, Jeez. All right. Not so motherly after all. You'll have nightmares for a week. If your daughter, kids ever come and say, Hey, Mum, you know, the old ghost has just left us a drink. Take that drink. It's a little bit scary, isn't it? All right. Oh, a bit too much paint up there. But it's white. It's supposed to represent the snow. Nice little skinny crevices there, isn't there? Alright, up we go. Um, the next story is The Perfect Plan by Hunt Frog. All these names are all one word, I don't know why. It might be just the way it is, I don't know. I don't post here, so I just read the stories from here. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, time to change the paintbrush. <sighs> if you can hear noises in the background, I have 
two 20 year old twin boys who are just, I don't know, arguing something out there. Oh Lord, um, I'm going to have to start putting out signs saying filming I think. It wasn't just enough to shut my door. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um. Oh, all right, we've been filming for 20 minutes now, so I have a, one or two other ones to do, but they're pretty big numbers, pretty big spacing, so I might sign off for now. I don't want to do videos for too long, and then you'll really get bored. Um, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Um, leave a comment of stories you'd like me to read or genres you'd like me to go to instead of just horrors. I just happen to like short horror stories. Um, but until next time, bye-bye for now.